Hello and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is Poetry, Love It or Leave It, brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Alice. That's why we're tossing around some ideas about poetry today because Happy National Poetry Month. That's right. And during this month, you may be saying to yourself, I really should read more poetry. Or you could be saying, maybe I should just dabble a little bit, try a little poetry. Or you could just be saying, I don't care. Um, could be a lot of people in the third category. We don't know. But we're just going to go over that, the fact that poetry can be easier than you think, not only to read, but certainly to write. Um, because you may remember in school, you were tasked with writing a poem. It was very difficult especially before Google, um, to find words that actually rhymed easily. But one form of poetry that I remember that I really liked was haiku. Haiku is the ancient Japanese poetry, and it doesn't have to rhyme. That made a lot more fun to be able to do. Um, it had usually an emotion to it, and there's only three lines in it. The lines had a certain amount of actual syllables to it. Do you remember how many syllables in each line? I think you do. First line had five, second line had seven, third line had five, five, seven, five. Today, right after I had a snack at work, I was doing the agenda for today and I decided to, based on the snack, write a little haiku for you. That rhymes. Now, loved the chocolate. Brought over from the West Coast. I will soon need more. That just says it all, okay? You have the deep emotion of want. You've got actually the feeling of, you can almost taste it in your mouth. This is how well I think that went. Other people in the room are shaking their head, no. Who could that be this time? Um, there's also free verse poetry, which is basically what it sounds like. D again, doesn't have to rhyme, just can go on and on. I'll give you a little example of that in a moment, but let's talk about how, <laughs> let's talk about how um, a little bit of background in somewhat recent times. Um, about poetry and when you think of children's books and rhyming what do you think of I think of Dr. Seuss so here is a book from the library entitled imagine that how Dr. Seuss wrote the cat in the hat um, and that is by Judy Sierra so back in about 1954 um, there were number of very good children's books for the younger children but they were missing that key element of books from that point to when children would read a whole book by themselves so dr seuss was a very good writer at that time and they tasked him with writing children's books just for that age group and they even gave him a certain list of basic words to use and the first one that he actually did write was the cat in the hat it had only 236 words to it he did so well with that one that he was then tasked with writing the next book with only 50 words what book was that green eggs and ham if you think about it in your mind the repetitiveness of it you're going to be able to say, oh yes, I see, I can see what I just did have only 50 words, but all classics. By this point, you may be saying to yourself, no more poems, okay? But, and this is by uh, Rhett Miller, but there are some funny poems. They don't always have to be just basic feelings or things like that. They've really come up with a lot of more modern poems um, in books today, such as 
Stinky Mouth U. And one of everybody's favorites, 3AMP, okay? I'll just read you the first part of 3AMP and feel free to find out how it ends. Um, I woke up at three, I had to go pee. The house was dark and still, but I was too scared to go it alone, so I got Bumblebee Bill. I think that must be Bumblebee Bill. And again, to find out how that how that ends, go to the library. So I edge of my seat. Do you think? Yeah. Anyway, so it's gonna remember I said I would talk more about um, free verse poetry. You can actually make a game of poetry, believe it or not. Um, and this happens to be a good one, the uh, Kid Genius, where you've got all these little magnetic tiles to make your own free verse. Let's go, not to the video, this is the video, but, it, but let's go to the refrigerator and see how well I did or did not do. So, in that game are these little pieces that you can just make any type of of poetry that you want. The fun thing about this game is that on the back of each one is actually the synonym. So if you pachyderm, you go with elephant. So what I got out of that box was a minuscule elephant went on holiday across the water. Doesn't rhyme, not really sure what it means, but think of it this way. It's a lot of fun to do this game. So basically poetry in general, um, you may have certain feelings about it. Maybe your feelings about poetry are icy. Maybe they're tempered. But hopefully after this, you'll warm up to poetry a little bit. So thanks for stopping by and happy National Poetry Day. Damn it. Happy National Month. There you go.